Turkey's mining safety record shows just how great the risks are that tens of thousands of men like these take every day. According to the most recent figures from the think tank Tepav, there were 7.2 deaths in Turkey per million tonnes of coal mined in 2008. That compares with 1.27 deaths in China and just 0.02 deaths in the US. Questions are now being asked about whether the Prime Minister's ruling AK party could have done more to ensure better safety standards at the mine. According to an opposition politician from the area where the accident happened, 10 inspections of the mine in recent years found more than 60 safety violations. Turkey's Labour and Social Security Ministry said the mine had been inspected five times since 2012, including in March this year, and that no issues violating work safety and security were found. The government is being accused of ignoring warnings and rejecting a proposal for a parliamentary inquiry into mine safety in the region. Politicians with the ruling AK party voted against the inquiry only last month. The mining company Soma Holdings said in a statement that the accident happened despite measures taken as part of the highest and most sustained inspection process. Protesters gathered at the company headquarters in Istanbul. The graffiti on the wall reads murderers. They privatized a mine. Success stories were told. This mining corporation came out and talked about how successful they were. And then what happened? Together with this explosion, we've seen that no precautions were taken. The lives of the workers were not valued and their lives were put in danger for more profit. Turkish mining experts say safety standards at private companies and subcontractors are often more lax than at state-run mines. As hopes of finding survivors fade by the hour, Turkey's mining community, indeed the nation as a whole, want answers as to how and why this latest tragedy happened. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, 